Everton were on working back to Dark Souls. So last time we made our way through Lost Azalef, we fought the Better Chaos, and frankly, we died a whole bunch of times. It was terrible. It was just terrible, but we finally defeated the goddamn thing. Seriously, I am so glad that's over with. Worst boss fight in the entire damn game. So we have two more Lord Souls left to get, plus the DLC. I think we are going to head to the DLC next, because if we don't get the Dark Souls now, we'll never actually have a chance to use them, so yes. But first things first, we're going to go back to Logan, buy all the spells he has. I don't think it'll cost too much, because we already spent like 80,000 just on two spells from him, so... Yeah, I would imagine it shouldn't cost too, too much to get the rest of them. Then he'll move somewhere else, and we get some new badass magic gear, so yeah. Oh, well said, buddy. Well said. Okay, so yeah, it's a real shame that you have to buy these spells even though we have them already. It's just a giant waste of Come souls, again. but what Anytime can you do? Please, for I too learn. Who are you? Stay clear. Stay clear of my work. Curses upon you. How dare you disturb me? I'm sorry! Stop shouting at me! Okay, so as you can see, he has gone batshit insane. He's off the wall freaking Michael Jackson style gone bananas. So, he's gonna go somewhere else. I believe that should be the room where we originally fought Seath and he killed us. So, I'm gonna go all the way back there. And yes, that means I have to go back through the goddamn archives. It's gonna suck. I'll see you when we get there. Okay, moment of truth. He is indeed here. And yes, as you can see, he has gone hollow and he's trying to attack us. Oh shit! Okay, that was very dangerous. I do not want to get hit by that. Get out of here, bastard. And yes, he's wearing nothing but a hat and his speedos. I'm not kidding. He, he, you can actually wear those. It's just like a white pair of pants. It's freaking amazing. Definitely one of my favorite armors in the game. Okay, so Logan is down. It sucks, but just like every character in Dark Souls, besides, you know, Solaire, if you save him, nobody really has a happy ending in this game. Now, I think we get something good out of this. No, it's just a magic game, but we'll screw that then. Okay, so I believe to get the rest of the gear that Logan has, we have to go all the way back to where we just spoke to him, so we'll see you when we get there again. Almost forgot, before we leave, there is a soul of a great hero up here. There we go. That is the only other one in the game. There's two of them. We have both of them now. Okay, anyway, so once again, I'll see you when we get back to where he was before. I really hope I'm remembering this correctly. Okay, yes I did. Thank God for that. So I believe we get Logan's Catalyst and his armor from here. Yes we do! Okay, so as I mentioned, Logan's Catalyst, it's the second best Catalyst in the game. The Tin Crystallization Catalyst does more damage, however, that has the unique effect whereby it halves the amount of cast you get of every spell. So, yeah, if you want double the casts, use Logan's, it's a little bit less damage. But if you're just going for KO power, you want the Tin Crystallization Catalyst. Pretty much it's good for PvP or an enemy that you can one-shot, so... Yeah, for now, we are going to roll with Logan's, and we're going to wear the balling hats. Okay, it's time to head to the DLC. So, we have to go back to where we killed the first Hydra, and run all the way around the corner and kill a Crystal Golem. So, once again, I'll see you when we get there. Okay, we have arrived, and holy shit. That took quite some time. I had to run all the way from the bonfire just before the Red Dragon, all the way back here. Gotta hate the backtracking in Dark Souls. That's why I have to edit so damn much take forever otherwise we get nothing done in the video. I really hope there's a little bit less backtracking in Dark Souls 2 but I get the feeling it's probably going to be a lot more since they said the world is more open but hey whatever as long as I get my ass kicked I'm okay with that. So yeah anyway I'm wearing the rusted iron ring so that we can run quickly here. Not necessarily really but you know it's just kind of handy it speeds things up plus it makes this guy a little bit quicker to kill. Now he is extremely resistant to magic just like the rest of them but uh, Crystal Soul Spear is going to kick the shit out of him either way because that is one damn powerful spell. There we go, he is down, and out pops a woman! Why not? So, it is thou who rescueth me. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysseel. I cometh from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseel, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? My heartfelt thanks. I am pleased beyond word. Then I shout, engrave my signature. If thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature. It seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. Yes, yes indeed. Okay, so I believe this chick is in the base game normally without the DLC, but uh, she's one of the requirements to get to the DLC. Here are the requirements, and you know, pay attention because it's kind of convoluted. But 
basically you have to come here and kill the first Hydra. Once that's dead, run around the corner where I am, kill the Crystal Golem. If the Golem isn't there, log out the gamer back in, it will appear again. Bear in mind it is extremely resistant to pretty much everything but Crush, and I think maybe Lightning Damage, not entirely sure, but uh, yes, either way, gonna be kind of a bitch to take down if you don't have the right weapon. Once that's done, you can run all the way over here, near to where we picked up the Knight's Armor, her sign will be next to the rock, and I'm told this sign you do not need to be human to summon her. You can go speak to her over there, talk to her again, once that's done, then you can go to the Archduke's archives, and there's a blue crystal golem just at the entrance. Once you kill that, it will drop the broken pendant. If you haven't done all of those things before that, it will not drop the broken pendant. It will respawn so you don't have to worry about that too much, but uh, yes, you need that broken pendant. Once you get that, you know you've done it correctly. Then you have to come all the way back here again, and then there's a portal. Boom, bang. That's how you get to the DLC. Yes, it's that goddamn complex. I don't know why they did that. I have genuinely no goddamn idea. It's like they didn't want people to find the damn thing. I don't get it, man. I just don't get it. Okay, so the question is, where the balls is her sign? Apparently it's there. I can't see it whatsoever, but whatever. Come on, lady. We ain't got all freaking day. What the hell? You are like the, you are the slowest summon ever. Oh, by the way, I found Solaire, the son of a bitch is still I'm sitting at the bonfire in Anolondo. And what the hell he's doing? See thee again. I shall follow thine wishes. I know it's an honor to see me. And there we go, we get the proper bow. It's like the other bow, except it looks cooler and it's a lot quicker, so I like to use that one in PvP. And yes, Chameleon, that is pop magic. We are so using that if we ever get invaded, which probably ain't gonna happen, let's be honest here. Cast Light is just like the Sunlight Maggot, except it runs out. Time, I was trapped within the Crystal Golem. From my home I was taken, and banished to a plane of distortion. It was there that thou came to my rescue, long after I had relinquished all hope. So gleeful was I, my faith reneweth. If thou art in need, pray summon me again. I only wish to be of some genuine assistance. May the flames kite. Okay, so what she essentially said there was that we went and saved her, which we haven't actually done yet. So, she's talking about what happened in the past because the DLC is set in the past. Yes, it's a complete mindfuck. She's telling us that we've saved her before we've even done it. So, yeah, anyway, back to the Duke's archives. Yeah, don't mess with me. I'm a psycho running around in his underpants. Trust me, I'm not someone to be messed with. Okay, anyone else? Yes, of course there is. God damn, I hate this archer so much. Boom, son. Here we go. Much better. Okay, so there's gonna be a couple more. Da -da 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 -da. That's a bad mate. There's gonna be a couple of dudes that come around the corner. Shit. So we're gonna wait and take those out. Jump attack. And just make sure we can take this guy on our own. I see you there, buddy. I'm watching you. You better not come for me. Die. Thank you. You, you die as well, you bastard. There we go. We got a broken pendant. Okay. It's time to go all the freaking way back to where the hydra was again. Okay, we are finally back. Holy shit. I like the DLC. I just really hate starting it because it takes so damn long. It's so much backtracking. Okay, and by the way, that over there, that is Dux of Ulysil's gear. You may remember I mentioned there's a piece of headgear that boosts your magic damage by 20%, but it makes you 50% weaker to magic. That is the crown of dust. So yeah, there you go. That's how to get it if you want it for free. Yeah, that's right, a giant freaking hand comes out of the portal and drags us into the past. Kind of awesome. Okay, so we have our first boss of the DLC coming up almost immediately. In fact, literally immediately. There's this bonfire, you go through a doorway, and he's right freaking there. This guy, kind of tough as shit, but uh, once you know, just like every enemy really, once you know his patterns, he's really not that bad. At least I don't think so. I would personally say he's the easiest of the four bosses in the DLC. I have the most trouble with Calamite, but most people don't really share that sentiment. A lot of people find Manus really hard, which... I'd say he's probably one of the easier ones for me, so it really just depends on your playstyle, but yes. I'll try and give you as many tips as I can, because, yeah, this guy, really not that bad. Mostly for the fact that he has very, very low HP. He's extremely quick, though. Like, probably one of the fastest bosses in the game, if not the fastest, so... I really advise maximum movement speed and work on your rolls. Don't worry about blocking, because it ain't gonna do much against this guy. Okay, bring it on, you weird-looking son of a bitch. So he has a sort of five-shot attack with the lightning there. You can see that coming fairly easily. This one, he slams down the ground, shoots a shockwave at you. Shit! Okay! 
That scared the crap out of me! He does the shockwave, get out of the way of that, and be aware he might try and headbutt you like that! So yeah, the shockwave will stagger you, you do not want to be near that again, you need to be quick to- you, Jesus Christ! But you see, we've almost killed him already. By the way, you can detail this boss, however, if you come back here after this guy's been killed and you know you've rested at a bonfire and whatever, there'll be two of this guy. I think they have all shits! Yes, it's one big ball of lightning, you won't get out of the way of that shit. I think there's two of them and I think they have less HP, so you can just detail those guys if you want the whip, which is basically like a poisonous sort of tail of a scorpion. Not a good weapon as you might imagine, but kind of fun and it's unique, so yeah, if you want to get that, it's easier to just kill one of the two guys here and then take out the tail of the second one, but uh, those guys, not very easy to kill and I'm nearly freaking dead, holy shit. Okay, you have some piss ball range on that buddy. No, 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 big lightning, okay. We're fine. We're just fine. Oh shit! Did it slam? Okay. He also has a combo attack. Oh shit! He's doing it to me now. Okay. He does do up to four hits with that, so just be aware of that. Just keep rolling backwards, and you will be fine. Don't try to go to the side if he does the combo. Go to the side for pretty much every other attack, but the combo roll backwards. And yes, by the way, we are gonna do the DLC in our goddamn underpants and Logan's hats, because we look absolutely amazing. Oh shit! Okay, yeah. Boom. Will that get the tail? No, it won't. Damn it, okay. He also has a tail attack where he'll just sweep it around if you're behind him. Shit! Okay, this is not good. He's very close to me. That's right. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's very close. He also has sort of a mule kick if you stand behind him, so yeah. Just stay near the front. Just be aware. If you want to cut up the tail, the best opportunity is when he flies through the air, he stops for a second, then you get all shit. Then you get the most amount of time to try and cut off the tail, but uh, yes, as you can see, the rest of the time, it's really not that easy. And frankly, I'm running out of patience here. You should probably just kill him. Da, 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 da. Okay. Shit! <laughs> Stop doing that! You grade A dick! Okay, buddy, just do something so I can heal and then I'm gonna kill you. You know what? Screw this. Let's just deathmatch the guy. Come on, buddy. It's you and me. One shot piece. Oh, now you've done it. You moron. Jump attack. And there we go. The Sanctuary Guardian is down despite my dicking around. Like I say, just roll to the side, roll back from the combo attack. You'll be fine. Like everything, you're just gonna have to learn his patterns, but movement is key. Don't be fat rolling, or even medium rolling, you won't be fast enough for that guy. Oh, by the way, I should probably mention, because the DLC is set in the past, this is actually mostly set where the Dark Root Garden is. That area where we just took on the Sanctuary Guardian, that's where you take on Great Grey Wolf Sif, which we haven't killed in the Let's Play yet, but when we get there, well, that's the same area, but one. in the future. From what faraway age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed. But not intolerable. Ah, Princess Dusk's savior. Thine aura is precisely as she described. I thank thee deeply for rescuing her highness. But Princess Dusk is here no longer. Snatched away by that horrifying primeval human. And so I must ask, couldst thou once more play the savior? Thank you. I am Elizabeth, guardian of this sanctuary. Something of a godmother to Princess Dusk. I shall assist thee to my utmost, for I am one with the sorceries of Uraseel. Yeah, that's right. Dusk Godmother is a giant mushroom lady. That's Dark Souls for you. Bad shit insane. She sells repair powder, which I think are 200 less than the undead merchant sells them for. So if you want to buy them, a lot cheaper here. Speaking of which, give me some goddamn powder. Okay. Thou shalt see further on. An abyss was begat of the ancient beast, and threatens to swallow the whole of Ulysseel. Knight Artorius came to stop this, but such a hero has nary a murmur of dark. Without doubt he will be swallowed by the abyss, overcome by its utter blackness. Indeed, the abyss may be unstoppable. Still, I have faith that Princess Dusk may be rescued yet. Lady, when a man is standing in front of you in his pants, faith is the one thing you should have. So yeah, basically she says that Knight Artorius used to be a hero, he came here to stop the spread of the Abyss, which is like corruption that's coming across the land, beginning here, and the Abyss overtook him, so now he's a sort of mindless zombie, kind of like a hollow. So yeah, we've got to go slay him, because damn it, that's what we do, we kill people. In our underpants, no less, just because it's that much more badass. Okay, let's go. In fact, shit, I just forgot something. Really need to repair the weapon, because I shot the shit out of the Sanctuary Guardian with that. You may not think of 50 souls is that damage, but 
That's like two less shots I can do. That will be extremely handy in a tight situation. Okay, so anyway, we are entering the main area here. This, I believe, is called the Royal Forest. It is basically the main area of Darkroot Garden, but again, in the past. It's not become Darkroot Garden yet. In fact, shit, wait a second, I've just realized. This is the bridge that you cross to get to Sith, so where we just were with the bonfire and the mushroom lady, that's actually where you take on Sith. The area where you take on the Sanctuary Guardian, I guess probably didn't exist in the future, or doesn't exist in the future is a better way to put it, so... Yeah, this is actually the section where you're running around after you've used the Crest of Artorias, which we're gonna do later, so yeah, that's kind of freaking cool. I never realized that before, I mean, I knew it, but I never saw it until I was looking at that bridge and then it just literally hit me, I was like, oh yeah, that's totally the bridge. That's freaking awesome. Okay, so anyway, we have a really tough section coming up around here. I almost always die in this section of field with all the flowers. I don't, well, I do know why. I was gonna say I don't know why. It's because there's a million gardeners and a bunch of giants. Jump attack. And they always just gang up on me. See what I mean? I've taken out tons of them. <laughs> oh shit, da, 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 da. okay. We're fine. Only a little bit of damage. It's just a flesh wound, goddammit. Okay. That buddy is coming. Gotta love homie. Shit! <laughs> I completely screwed up that roll, holy crap. Surprise, bitch. <laughs> okay, we're back. And yes, I've turned human, even though I fully expect nobody to freaking invade me because it just doesn't seem to be happening, but screw it. Jump attack, we will try. Now, gotta get to my souls, but also gotta... Oh, shit. That really, really hurt. Okay, we're fine. Giant body hasn't spotted me yet. We're gonna get to my cells, but gonna worry about not getting surrounded, because that's why I always die in the section. I run out too quickly, and then the farm oh shits! And then the farmers just surround me. Giant guy, dangerous but not that bad on his own. Now, don't miss time the roll. Okay, now, as you saw when he killed me, he slammed his axe down to the ground, and then he pulled it back out again. You gotta watch out for that, they will do that sometimes, so if you're staying on top of it after it's gone on the ground, they can hit you with it on the way back out. Be aware of that, and holy shits! I love the physics on this game. It's like a giant stone giant, and he just flew across the map. God, it's awesome. And there you go, you get the Guardian leggings. All of that armor is here around in different places. Again, I got all of that. Oh, shit. I always forget about that. It keeps making me jump. That's Calumet. It's one of the bosses we'll be taking on later. He will not kill us right now. I think if we run underneath him, he might hit us with his feet. So I ain't risking that. But anyway, yes. The giant armor is around here somewhere. I got all of it in my Soul of One Let's Play. I can't remember where the rest of the pieces are, but yes. That's where the leggings are. Not that great. It's kind of just like the uh, stone giant armor back in the regular version of the Darkroot Garden. This is just like an alternate version of that set. Looks kind of cool, though. Okay, so you see all this blue stuff all over the floor and these things here. They are pieces of the Abyss. They're the corruption that is spreading across the land. There is a chasm of the Abyss that we will be going to later in the game. That place is almost entirely corrupted. So, yeah, it's kind of spreading all the way from there, all the way out here, because that's a long, long way away. So, yeah, it's kind of strange to me as well, though, because in the future we don't see anything like that. So, maybe we're the hero that stopped here. I guess that must be it. That's kind of cool if that is the case. It's always like a giant mindfuck when you go back in time in a game and then you see things in the future that have changed because of something you, you did, but at the time, you didn't realize that you were the one that done that. Good lord, that's confusing. Okay, so anyway, this is a shortcut. We are running like hell because there's a bunch of giant people and a bunch of farmers. See ya, dickholes. No messing around with those guys, like I say. There is the Guardian armor out there. There's also a mushroom, which is kind of like a divine blessing that you can use to fully restore your HP. And there's probably some soul consumables and shit like that. But besides the Guardian armor, there ain't a whole hell of a lot out there. And frankly, I just don't want to die. Now, there's another shortcut over here. We're going to open this one. The way to get to this one is when you go use the bonfire, you run straight ahead, all the way up the hill, all the way to the very back. That will take you to this lift. You go down here, you run across mm. this bridge, and then you can take on Artorias. Mm, yes. Snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the past? Yes. Yes, I was. Yes, of course. Exactly what happened to me. We are both strangers in this strange land. But at least now there are two of us. Yes, and I'm completely trustworthy. I'm not gonna murder you in cold blood later to get your armor set because it looks absolutely goddamn badass. That's not gonna happen, I can assure you. So anyway, this is Marvelous Chester, as you can see, he's a merchant. He'll invade us later. Plus, we can kill him to get his gear, and it looks amazing. Did you happen across Knight Artorias? The legendary Abyss Walker from the old tales. Well, if you haven't, it's just as well. He's a colorless sort, if you ask me. <laughs> Oh, you. Already, so I'm gonna long. end it here. Next time, we will take on Knight Artorias in our underpants. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I was appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Dark Souls.